decisions about quality of care has, has been um, a very frustrating challenge. Uh, I've spent time as a clinic medical director um, as well as a course director for, for students uh, and have always struggled for um, meaningful uh, uh, practice metrics uh, from which to make decisions. So I've, I've participated in uh, maintenance of certification activities uh, that required the um, uh, chart, chart review, pulling, pulling together information through this tedious process, um, but have, have always wished for um, disease registry capabilities uh, with an analytic tool uh, that didn't require that, that tedious um, uh, homework process. Uh, and then in, in more recent years, as, as my education is focused uh, with medical students and chronic illness management for adults, um, I've experimented with um, pulling information from the electronic health record um, and downloading in, into Excel spreadsheets, for example. Uh, but even that's been um, very tedious. Um, and we, we have a workforce of medical students that can help with the data extraction, uh, but they're very busy too. Um, so it was um, with great enthusiasm and excitement uh, that I learned uh, about our direction in, into um, uh, the HIE and bus business anal analytics um, process with, with Pentaho, learned about its capabilities and chomped at the bit basically to get my hands on it. And finally when, when that occurred it was like a, a whole new world opening up for us. We run a free clinic for uninsured adult patients with chronic illness. Uh, here in Oklahoma then by definition that means we have a large population of diabetics. Um, when I first uh, dove into Pentaho, we created uh, uh, easy reports uh, to look at the quality of care of our diabetic patients. And um, from a novice uh, with no training in Pentaho um, and a little bit of guidance, I was very easily able to generate uh, a report of our nearly 300 diabetic patients that um, uh, told me their most recent hemoglobin A1C, their most recent blood pressure values, their most recent uh, lipid levels. Um, I could manipulate the data and look back over time. Um, I could l begin looking forward um, and, and start building the, the next reports that might be of, of use to our practice and then engaged with the um, other providers in the practice, the faculty and medical students who in moments began brainstorming um, rapid cycle Im improvement ideas uh, to begin putting in, into place and repeating the measurements to see if any of the activities that they began to create might have demonstrable impact on uh, the quality metrics of their practice for our diabetic patients. Each student has in, in their practice between five and ten diabetics. Five medical students uh, form a, a practice group. So each practice group under the direct supervision of a faculty member has 25 to 40 diabetics. So I asked the students um, whether they could tell me um, what their average hemoglobin A1C was in their practice or their average blood pressure and um, they were clueless. They had a, a guess and most of their guesses um, were dependent upon their most recently seen patients um, but they were really clueless until we got them in access to the Pentaho tool and they could see uh, at, at the student level, the PCP provider level, or their practice group level, their actual performance. Um, and by and large, um, 
their clinical care metrics were much worse than they imagined they were, which of course gives us lots of opportunity for improvement. Immediately started generating questions uh, about, uh, because the students remembered many of their patients whose quality metrics were very good. Questions immediately began uh, to, to generate like, um, well, how, how could that be? How, you know, uh, could, could the data set include brand new patients who haven't um, had access to their medications for a while? So it immediately began to generate hypotheses for the students to test um, once they all have um, access um, to, to the data set.